Hey guys, it's the Dr. Ripper guy, and I know I'm a bit late on the news, but it's better late than never, and today we're going to be talking about the Switch Lite, something which I thought was a joke, but then I saw a Nintendo Space, and I'm just like, okay, this is not a joke, this is for real. Anyway, let's get on to it. What is the Switch Lite? The first biggest question. It's pretty much just like a stripped down, uh, it's a lesser, a smaller version of the Switch. It's marginally smaller. Why? It's, it's pretty much like it has a 5.5 inch screen, whereas the regular Switch has 6.2 inches, uh, and also it has 3 to 7 hours of battery life, whereas the regular Switch has, you know, 2, uh, 2.5 to 6.5 hours of battery life. So the screen is marginally smaller and the battery life is also mar marginally higher than the regular Switch. And it, it's also, it's an all-in-one design. It's a total handheld, which I'll get to in a minute later, but like, yeah, it has no motion control, it has no uh, HD rumble, uh, none of that, and it has no detachable Joy-Cons, so it's pretty much all in one design, and it has a D-pad Joy-Con on the left one, and I want Nintendo to drop something like that, I mean, just like a detachable Joy-Cons where the left one is a D-pad, that would be fun, and I would love to use it, but anyway, it's, it's time will tell, right? And it's available on three colors gray a yellow and tortoise tortoise is pretty much like a teal blue color and there's a, another a, a special edition one which is for the upcoming game pokemon game pokemon sword and shield color which include both the legendary pokemon zakiel and zamasetsu at the back of it it looks pretty clean and also it might remind some of the older 3ds's which had those you know special edition pokemon themed 3ds's and of course uh sword and shield will be sold separately it's not included in that so when will the switch light come out the switch light will come out in this year september 20th and it will be available for $200, whereas in the well, well, the regular Switch is pretty much $300. And uh, the, also, with that, in maybe in Canada, I heard it's like $300, Switch Lite is $300, and the Switch, the regular Switch is $400. So one of the biggest things which, uh, which like made me go like, oh, what the hell was the fact that there's no video support. And yeah, you cannot dock your Switch Lite at all. Which, in a moment, uh, now that the specifications things are over with, now it's my opinion and my thoughts on it. And before we get down to that, I just want to tell you, whatever I'm about to tell you is my thoughts and my opinion alone. If you love the Switch Lite and if you want to buy it, if it appeals to you, hey, that's the darker demographic. Well, you may be one of them and well, they hate you, you like it, and that's great. I'm not trying to take that away from you and nobody should or nobody would. Well, I mean, not nobody will. Some people will try to take it. I mean, but pretty much you get my point. I'm not trying to take away whatever you like about the Switch Lite and whatever you feel like. If this, yeah, this is great. I agree, disagree with you. That's okay. I respect your opinion. Even if you like it, more power to you, man. Uh, but like I said, this is my and my opinion alone. So the Switch Lite, it's uh, my thoughts on it personally. It just feels a bit meh. I mean, I already own a regular Switch. I already invested a lot on it. I mean, it, it already, like, I spoke bought additional Joy Cons and everything. So, I my thoughts on the Night nice Switch Lite. I mean, I, I wasn't really that hyped up about it. Maybe I am not the I am not the target demographic. I'm clearly, yeah, I'm not. But these people, this type of Switch, will clearly, will clearly appeal to little kids because they usually don't play on TV, right? They mostly before handheld. And like I can see that I can see people not not being that freaked out about it because me personally, even though I barely use the TV uh, to play my Switch games, I t use it in handheld mode pretty much majority of the time. Uh, right now, these days, I'm just like every time I just use it handheld. Uh, but like I still, the whole appeal of the Switch, the whole marketing thing is that uh, you can get you can also treat it like a handheld and output it. And I know some of you may be like, oh, there's cutting down power in. The switch might need, the switch light might need additional power to support the dock. No, it doesn't. It just upscales the video. And even if they sold it separately, would people complain about it? Yes, the people would complain about it. But at least there's an option, and it's definitely better than not having the dock at all. I just feel like it's an anti-consumer move, and also the fact that, well, you you have to use Wi-Fi if you want to play online games, uh, and it'll lag. A lot. It can put in Ethernet. Maybe there'll be adapters which use Ethernet in the access areas. I don't know. But some of you may be like, wait, what about the additional battery life? I mean, this is 2019. We, I mean, I, I, I could speak. I think majority of people can say, can like, will carry a power bank with them whenever on, um, when they were there on the go. And also, it's a 0.5 hour difference from the regular switch. 
so I am not losing out much and as it, these days it takes me like 3-4 days or something or even 5 days for me to get the battery to low in handheld mode so I just I don't know I just don't I just don't feel like it's a big deal and but a few things which I'm gonna be take, talk about positively this I think this switch light will be will be successful I'm not taking not it won't it will and I think that a lot of people are going to buy it considering the cheaper price and like well I can pretty much get extra peripherals and all the games equal to a regular switch and that's a pretty cool thing um but I I'm just I'm just like I said it's not for me but besides that, besides it saying not for me, well, uh, let's just touch down on this. Uh, Doug Bowser confirmed that that the Switch Lite, we can transfer your save data from the Switch to the Switch Lite. I think it'll be effortlessly. And I think I like the fact that, yeah, you can put in your Switch at the dock and then take it into your Switch Lite on the go. Because thing is this, uh, when I first got my Switch, my, my initial pair of Joy-Cons, they started desyncing when I were playing on handheld mode and it was, Pretty annoying. It's so annoying that I had to buy another pair of Joy Cons so that I won't get this desyncing problem again and again. Like it would seriously break my enjoyment of the game. So I think like with the Switch Lite, it's it not having to touch the dock. That's cool. I mean, no motion controls. A HD rumble. I I don't really care that much. I think they'll have to add some sort of rumble. But like I said, it not really don't really care that much. And also they don't have any kickstand. And uh, that's a bit of an oof for me. <laughs> Besides that, I think it's a pretty cool thing to exist, but it's, like I said, not for me. I said this um, a lot of times, but that's just my opinion on it. I, but I see the appeal of it. I'm not saying it's a horrible console. Nobody should buy it. I'm not. I can see uh, what type of people are going to buy it. Okay. There's even a people, well, uh, even people who have Switch or can will buy the switch light because it's lighter it's more portable and also uh, like i said longer battery life and you can transfer your entire state data on that on that switch so oh that's that's cool i mean yeah so the switch light what do you think about it if you are going to comment i don't think anybody's gonna comment but if you are drop your opinions on it and that's it for me i'll leave you. peace